Please, please tell me to make me feel good. Please tell me this crowd of people is in here today for me. That's what I'm talking about. Amen. Look at somebody beside you and look them in the eye and tell them, I love you. We don't want no backstabbers in here now look behind you and tell somebody I love you. Now we're ready to have some church. Such a pleasure to be here today. Miss Dallas, you here? Your husband stopped by and told me to that he was gonna send you here today, send you here today, see what I can do with you. So we're going to work on you today, everybody. It's such a pleasure. Thank you, Mr. Corey Humphrey, for a second time around. It's just so good to be here. And I'll tell you what I want to do today, since this is the last chapel service for this quarter, this year. I want to claim this service to be Jubilee Chapel. I want some amens. Amen. If you love the Lord on this side, tell the Lord thank you. Amen. Over here on this side, if you love the Lord, tell him thank you. Amen. Up in the balcony, if you love the Lord, tell him thank you. Amen. Good. We have so much to thank the Lord for because he's been so good to us. And as I look around and see what God is doing for us in this time and looking and seeing uh, this troubled world that we're living in, we got a right to praise God. We got a right to lift him up. We got a right to praise him for what he's done. Thank you for your prayers. I, this has been one of my testing times. I, I've been preaching for 44 years, but... It seems like the day is my first sermon, but thank you for your prayers. I usually, when I come into work in the morning, I usually put out the chapel sign. And I said, well, that'll build me up and get me all built up. And when I pulled in this morning, the chapel sign was already out. I said, what is this all about? Then I sat down and Turn on my computer. Now I was all dressed up on the computer. I said, something got to be wrong with all of this. Pumping me up. But I'm so glad to be here today to exercise God gifts. And thank you, uh, Ms. Talbert, for the interview you gave me. Uh, I've been called, get, getting calls from all over the place. And I told them I don't know when I would be leaving for Hollywood, but it would be in the next few days. But I'm just glad to praise the Lord. I want to talk about today a lot of time because this is a Christian college. Y'all know that, right? You can say man. A Christian college, a Christian environment, a Christian university committed to excellence in education. And when you come in this, on this college, when you come through that gate, I try to saphonify that to let you know that that's what we're all about. We're all about praising God. I, I don't know, uh, I, and I want to think so, because of we haven't had that many problems on this hill. And I want to think it's because we love God and are, and are committed to him. Amen? Amen? And that's what I think. And I believe in that. But there is a scripture that I read been reading it. Josh, thank you. Josh came through the gate this morning and stopped, got my hand, and prayed for me. Now, all colleges doesn't do that. This is a Christian college. We believe in God. We believe in praying. Uh, we've been praying so here. I think I have almost decided to change the gate to the war room. 
Y'all, y'all seen that picture? The war room. I, I have not took down all of, we got some paperwork down there on the wall. Emergency alert alarm system, decal, uh, color guard, bi-weekly time sheets, names of phones and emails of faculties. We have trespassing warning sickness. We have resident director. We have pictures down there of some folks that, you know. Uh, 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 yeah, uh, <laughs> unfortunately, then we got a uniform policy code, and I had to be in my uniform this morning. And uh, but I've been wanting to do like to do in the war room. I've been wanting to put some of those prayer requests up, but I, I better not do that. Miss Paula might fire me for doing that. But I do have a few in there in the little bathroom I got. Amen. Pray for this one and pray for that one and pray for this family and pray for that family. And pray for our college that God will be able to bless us. And I wanted to talk about a very important thing in First John chapter number 4, um, starting at verse number 7. It said, Beloved, let us love one another. For love is of God. And everyone that loveth is born of God and knoweth God. He that loveth not knoweth not God. For God is love. In this manifestation, the love of God towards us, because that God sent his only begotten son in the world, that we might live through him. It's about love, y'all. Amen? It's about love. And he went on to talk to us there in that 21st, and, and, and I couldn't quite understand what was he talking about until I really looked into the depths of it. And it talks about how can you say you love God whom you've never seen and hate your brother whom you see daily? How can we do that? God is love. And if we love God, we're going to love our brothers. Talk about sisters too. The love. That's the reason why I asked you to look in somebody's face and tell them I love you. And this is what this business is all about. I just tell the Lord every morning. Let me tell you all something. Can I be myself for a minute? Uh, I love this place. And I love you. Tell somebody he love you. I love you because of the environment, because of what this place is about. I ask God every morning, God give me strength that I may praise you, lift your name up, and give your name to praise to everyone that comes through that gate. That's what I want to be. It's a Christian college. I can do that, can't I? Because we love one another. When we meet in the cafeteria, when we meet on the campus, I want to show that love. But what God was letting us to know here, he says, Jesus is love and we must love. We must love one another. I think that's the problem with the world today, y'all. I don't know what we're going to do to turn it around because I think we got more enemies than we got Christian. But it should be more Christian than it is enemies because we know what God, they said, for God so loved the world. Can I be myself? I might holler a little bit. My, my daughter called me today, and she said, Daddy, you make sure you pronounce all your words and all, because you get it happy sometime, and you go to splitting stuff. <laughs> and she said, you might go to blowing spit and stuff like that, you know. And she, and she said, Daddy, be dignified. But it's something about Jesus that sometimes you just can't be dignified. Because he's been so good to me. He woke me up this morning. He started me on my way. He put running in my feet, clapping in my hand, and joy in my soul. We sing a song sometime. This joy I have, the world didn't give it to me. And tell the world, just because you didn't give it to me, you sure can't take it away from me. Because I'm going to praise God. I'm going to wave at everybody. I'm going to tell them how good God is. And if you don't watch it, uh, uh, Dr. Kerr, I don't mean to do it, but sometimes I might have a traffic jam. <laughs> they might be boo boo blowing at me, but I'm talking about Jesus. And it's good God Almighty. 
Coach Jones, there's something about him when you go to talking about him, how good he is. When I get up in the morning, I tell God how good he is. When I go to bed at night, I tell God how good he is to me and what he done for me. Uh, and God, and God is healing my body and he's, he's blessing my soul. And, uh, I love one another. He said, if a man say I love God and hate my brother, he's a liar. It's about love, I tell y'all. It's about love that we have for one another. And I just appreciate coming through the gate. I just appreciate you coming through the gate when I can wave at you. Uh, me and Brother Jones, Brother Jones, sometimes he come through the gate and he had some of that good gospel music on. I, I think that's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> but whatever he have on, I can rejoice with him because that's what it's supposed to be about. Hey, do y'all like to see me wave at you? Hey, man, I love to wave at you because I love you. I love the benefit that it is here at this college. I love to praise God. I see several of you coming through here with Bibles. All colleges doesn't do that. But we come to praise God. We come to magnify him. We come to lift him up because of who he is. He's good to us and he blessed us. He said, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him shall not perish but have what? Everlasting life. And I heard Deuteronomy also say, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy mind and with all thy soul. This is what we're here for today is to give Lord the praise. Uh, we sing sometimes when praises go up. Y'all know what else it says? Blessings come down. God said in his word, if I be lifted up from the earth, I'll draw all men uh, to me. And I want you to keep up the good work. I want you to keep loving one another. Uh, we got a few of us around here. We got sickness in the family and one or two had death in the family. But God is able to bring us through it. How many ever tried him? Won't he work it for you? Won't he do what you want him to do? And I'm so glad of him. And as I begin to look at, as we talk about the things we're going through when Jesus was getting ready on his angelical tour, he began to go down to a place called Caesarea Philippi. He began to ask the disciples, who do men say that I am? I want to know what they're saying about me in the street. I want to know what they're saying. I want to know what y'all are saying about me in the college when you come through the gate. And then they said some thought it was John the Baptist. Another thought it was one of the other prophets. But then that wasn't the key thing for me. That's all right what they saying about me out there. I want to know who you said I am. Can you stand up today and say he's a savior? Can you stand up today and say he's a healer? Can you stand up today and say he is a provider? Because I love him. In order to love God, you got to love your brother. That's the trouble with the world today. We don't have no love. But I thank God and he says also, this is the commandment, that ye love one another as I love you. It's all about love. And I just appreciate this opportunity to come to minister to you. I just appreciate that opportunity to stand at the gate and wave at you and let you know God loves you. God's going to protect you. God is going to keep you. We're getting ready to come up to our finals. First seek ye kingdom of God and his righteousness and these other things will be added unto you. Just tell the Lord, here I am. Lord, I need you. I haven't been studying like I was supposed to. <laughs> I need some help. You can talk to God. You can talk to him and tell him, Lord, I need some help. I need some help. I don't want you to send your children. You need to come yourself. Don't, don't send your sons. You come yourself and help us through this thing. And, and I appreciate that. I appreciate every morning when I get up, I, I take time out to thank God. Thank God for how much I love you. I got a dog, and I believe that dog knows when I'm praying sometimes. He, he be messing with me and going on. And I can get on my knees. His name is Oreo. And I say, Oreo, I'm praying now. He'll go over there by himself and sit down and watch me pray. <laughs> Even the dog saved, I think. And if you love God. Oh, help me this evening. Help me this morning. <laughs> Greater love has no man than this. He laid down his life for his friend. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace. You've got to have some love. I like that, that scripture that Brother Joyce and the uh, 13th chapter of 
Corinthians, when he began to tell all the people, you can have the gifts of prophecy, understand all mystery, and have not love, it profits you nothing. <laughs> it's about love today, Shorter College. It's about love. It's about love we have for one another. This last chapter, the next one will be in January or sometime, when we go into that next uh, chapel service in the, in the next year, we'll be able to tell the world and tell and that song you just saw, Miss, 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 uh, Dr. Cash told me that was a song you tell the world about this. We can tell the world that God has been good to us and God has blessed us. And when we go into this next year, we can say, well, we had one, well, the, you know, I'm going to claim this one. We had one Jubilee chapel. We was able to talk back to the preacher. We were able to wave at the preacher. You, you got to make a joyful noise unto God. Tell God how much you love him. Tell God how much you appreciate him. That's what we have to do for the Lord. We ain't having no funeral in here. We come in here to praise a Savior who woke us up this morning and started us on the way. And we're a family. I got my little shirt on and all my little stuff. It says transferring lives through Christ. Huh? Got on my uniform. And we all family folks. No outsiders in here today. We all family. Look around and see if everybody look like family today. Yeah, they family. And we come to magnify and praise the Lord and give him praise. And that's what I wanted to leave with you today for this last chapel service. But God been so good to us. And thank you, choir. Thank you, uh, Dr. Cash had to be out of town. and Pray for her and her daughter. Pray for the rest of us. But I wanted this to be a memory chapel. So that gate man down there was loud. <laughs> but he got the word over to us. And that's what it's all about. However you want to praise him, that's you. Sometimes I like to run around and jump every once in a while. Because I like to praise him. So don't fault me for praising him because that's the way I praise him. The more I praise him, the better I feel. God bless you. I love everybody in here today, and I appreciate you for coming today and praising God this last chapel in this year. Continue to pray. Listen, I'm going to tell you something. Else. We ain't got to wait till the 26th of November for Thanksgiving. I got up this morning with Thanksgiving. This morning, I'm not going to wait till the 26th or whenever it is, 26, 27. Whatever. I'm going to praise him while I can. Huh? I believe I testify while I have a chance because I may not have this chance anymore. And I love you. I love you. Go in peace. May God bless you. Let me pray. Eternal God, our Heavenly Father, I just thank you for this moment with my family, Shorter University. I thank you for my brothers and sisters in the Lord, Lord, and I thank you for the love that I have for this college. I love this job. I love this place. I love these people. And God continue to bless us and keep us. We've got finals coming up. Lord, help us. We want everybody to pass. We want everybody to be blessed. Lord, continue to bless us. Go with us throughout this day. We're going to need you throughout the day. Understand a storm is coming in, but God, you are our protector. Protect us upon this hill, Lord. Continue to bless us. Look on the president, vice, and all the staff that make up this college, the students, campus safety. Continue to bless us. And God, we're going to hold to your unchanging hand because you know that you got a blessing for us. Lord, we'll forever give you the praise and honor. In Jesus' name, I want everybody to repeat after me. Let the words of my mouth, the meditation of my heart, be acceptable in thy sight. O oh Lord, our strength and our redeemer, in Jesus' name, amen.